so hello, my name is Christopher Hugh and I'm from the University of Reading. Nice to meet you. Oh, very nice to meet you. Um, my name is Robert Hoare. I'm from the Historic Royal Kitchens team at Hampton Court Palace. How is chocolate made during the Georgian period? The process starts with um, um, taking the pods off the tree and then fermenting them on the basic the forest floor and then drying them off. And then we have them in this form. And these have been processed abroad, like they had to be fermented mm -hmm. and dried and everything. And that takes quite a while, but we didn't know that. So we get the beans like this. And then we roast them. And we roast them in front of fires, sometimes just with iron pans, sometimes with things like this, great big cylinders that you put onto the spit. And once it's roasted, it gets to be like these. These are mm -hmm. actually roasted beans. Oh, these are already roasted beans. Already roasted beans, which I did this morning. Oh. And we roast them. Not a terribly high temperature compared to coffee. I've done these in 140 degrees centigrade. Are they edible? They are. Would you care to try oh, it? Oh, yes, please. Bit? Thank you. It's crunched. It's chocolatey, very chocolatey, but very dry. And what happens next is the amazing thing, because you crunch these up and then you put them on the potato stone, which is warmed, but only warmed to about 80. It's heated below. I didn't use a charcoal stove, or in our case, you can get a, a tray with sort of charcoal embers in. And then you use this to crunch them. You crunch the beans, and after a while, they, they sort of liquefy. It's really strange. Suddenly, the cocoa butter comes out. And they become and becomes, liquid. Yeah, it becomes really fatty. Um, back home in Indonesia, we have a similar device as well. Oh, do you? But um, we use it to grind up herbs and chilies usually, and it's um, much more rougher in texture. Uh -huh, and um, yes. so it grinds um, like the herbs very, very finely as compared to probably this. So what you do is you get it until you think it's ready. You sort of scrape it off with your special scraper, and you scrape it onto bits of paper like this. And when you scrape it onto bits of paper like this, this is now called a chocolate cake. Called cakes because of their shape. Mm -hmm. Cake of soap. You know, it was just an old thing for a round thing. And then some people say keep them for a month. Some people say don't keep them for a month. Mm -hmm. It's a sort of trade secret thing. And then typical Georgian, like you boil it up in over here in England, milk. But not only milk, um, chocolate wine, chocolate port. Oh, which chocolate is port. Very nice, yes. You have to serve it up quickly, but because it's, it's still got the fat in there and it's still got a slight um, graininess, you serve it in one of these. This is a classic chocolate pot. And the reason it's got this is because you want to... It's a, basically a whisk built in. So what you do is you run, give it a whisk up and get it all nice and frothy so when it's poured out, mm -hmm. it's all sort of nice and, and homogenised.